हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर फोर फॉर बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्रेडिट ऑफिसर एग्जाम बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्रेडिट ऑफिसर एग्जाम इन दिस सीरीज आई एम शेयरिंग द इम्पॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन फॉर द बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्रेडिट ऑफिसर एग्जाम सो टुडे द टॉपिक इज द रेशियो एनालिसिस द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज एक्चुअली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट स्टूडेंट यू शुड डू द क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सो लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हेयर प्लीज ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द स्टॉक टर्न ओवर रेशियो प्लीज पॉज दीडियो एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ so if you are not able to do so let me tell you uh, how to find out the stock turnover ratio it is the net credit purchase the net credit purchases divided by average inventory so now check it out uh sales is 3 lakh and 20000 gross profit is 25 20% so what is the net credit purchase so here we are assuming that all these numbers that are given they are they are all about credit uh 0% is cash so 3 lakh 20000 is the sales then the net purchase should be 75% of 3 lakh and 20000 and it is 2 lakh and 40000 एवरेज इन्वेंट्री थर्टी वन थाउजेंड है ट्वेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड है सो इट इज थर्टी थाउजेंड सो वॉट इज द स्टॉक टर्न ओवर रेशियो इट इज एट टाइम्स वेरी इजी राइट सो वेरी सिंपल लेट्स ट्राई द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन डिटरमाइन द वर्किंग कैपिटल टर्न ओवर रेशियो इफ द करंट एसेट इज वन लैख एंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड करंट लाइबिलिटी इज वन लैख एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स सोल्ड इज थ्री लैख now students it's your turn working capital i hope you should be able to calculate the working capital it is current assets minus current liability so it is 1 lakh 50000 minus 1 lakh i hope you should be able to solve this it is just 50000 and cost of goods sold cogs is 3 lakh so the working capital turnover ratio is cogs divided by the working capital it is simple 3 lakh rupees divided by 50000 and so it is six times so it is answer is b very simple students i i have heard a, that a lot of, i have listened to your problems in the comment section and even a lot of students actually called me and they are telling me they are not able to uh, you know remember the uh, these uh, various ratios try to understand the concept right now we are the doing the turnover ratio try to understand the concept how to find the turnover ratios it's not that difficult the quick ratio is 1.8 the current ratio is 2.7 the current liabilities are 60000 determine the value of stock so is it difficult no it's not so it's your turn so what is the formula for the c first of all the current assets divided by current liabilities is uh its its ratio is 2.7 right it is current ratio now quick ratio current assets minus stock divided by the current liabilities is equal to 1.8 that is a quick ratio now let's simply let's just solve this right let's let's solve it it's it's not that difficult these are the two just hold on these are the two statements and you need to solve it so let's try to do it yourself uh, ca is equal to 2.7 cl and ca minus stock is equal to 1.8 cl you can do that it's actually your wish how you actually want to do this so try to solve it yourself students try to solve it so we can do it like this ca is equal to 1.8 cl 1.8 cl plus stock so both of these are ca current assets so 2.7 l 2.7 current liabilities is equal to 1.8 current liability plus stock while the value of the current liabilities is 60000 2.7 multiplied by 60000 is equal to 1.8 multiplied by 60000 plus stock so uh very simple here you can do this very easily right so 
2.7 multiply by 60,000 minus 1.8 multiplied by 60,000 is equal to stock. So try to solve it yourself students. Uh, it's actually really simple. I if I were at your place that is my funda so very simple i am doing this question for the first time myself so 54000 i don't know why it is already marked 54000 is the answer so not that difficult i know there are many chartered accountants and uh, who are watching this video there are many mbas from you know very reputed uh, institutions but students do not expect those lengthy questions these are the questions that you are going to find in the exam so 54000 is the answer let's do the next question the following information uh, for the uh, is available for a company the trade receivable is 12.5 uh, pounds million pounds and the credit sale is 210 million pounds average trade payable is 18 million pounds and the credit purchases is, is 78 million pounds so these two are different questions uh, this is a different one this is a different one now i think it's your turn to solve it it's not that difficult i won't do the whole calculations for you but i think it's my duty to tell you how to do this simple so first of all how to find the collection period so first of all uh, find out the turnover ratio right the, you have the credit sales right and you have the average trade receivables right so you are going to easily you can easily find out the the turnover ratio simply you need to divide 360 by 360 by the turnover ratio it's it's that simple actually right so that's how you need to do it now solve it yourself i have already marked the answer by mistake actually so try to solve it yourself student it, it's not that difficult uh, it's not that difficult i think so it's you who are going to going who are going to appear for the exam so it's i think it's not that difficult you can actually do that really easily the same goes for the this question i'm not going to spoon uh, the you know spoon feed you but try to solve this yourself now i have i i think i have already told you these kind of questions you are going to find in the exams right very simple next question the important uh, this is not an actually this is the concept see student how to find the eps and how to find the PE ratio this is very important price earning ratio first of all check out this question the market price of an ordinary share of a company is uh, $1.50 the EPS is uh, 5 EPS is earning per share compute the price earning ratio the market price of the share divided by the EPS is equal to PE ratio right so the PE ratio simply is $10 and this is not a question this is a concept actually so that's how we calculate the pe ratio now let's check out the next question market price per share of a firm having a equity capital is 1 lakh rupees consisting of rupees 10 per share so eps is 1 lakh divided by rupees 10 it, it comes to rupees 10000 so the profit after tax is the profit after tax is uh, just a second the profit after tax is 82,000 so the EPS sorry so I think it's like the EPS there are total 10,000 uh, shares there are number of shares number of shares is 10,000 because uh, 1 lakh is a capital and consists of rupees 10 per share this is a book value so the number of shares are 10,000 and the EPS is 82,000 that is that is a profit after tax divided by the number of shares so it comes to 8.2 is the eps so uh, and pe the pe ratio is 8 now what is the market value what is the market value of the share so we have already done that the market value of the share is equal to pe multiplied by eps so we have done till now we have done this market value of share divided by eps is equal to the pe ratio so if you want to find the market value of the sh uh, share not the pe ratio bring the eps there so that's how you can simply find the market value of the share the pe ratio uh, 
uh, is 8 and the EPS is 8.2 so I hope you can simply multiply this so simply it is 65 65.6 so 88 uh, 64 so it comes like this simple it's as simple as it is so very simple question students I hope you are able to understand this and best of luck for your exam on the 10th you are going to prepare for the exam I request all of you trust me I request all of you to send me your exam review to my whatsapp number right this is my whatsapp number students I request all of you to send your reviews I'd be really happy to you know to listen to your reviews I would be really happy to share your success stories in case you are able to crack the exam please promise me that you are going to share your success story with me I want to share your story with others right if you are able to crack even crack the exam just let me know that's actually very important for me so that's all for today students please subscribe the channel very important for you press the bell icon and in case there is any doubt regarding this lecture there is a comment section uh, you know you can comment below so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day take care